Good evening and thanks for joining us this Monday. I'm Rob Caldwell. And I'm Peggy Kaiser in for Amanda. We hope you all had a great weekend. Tonight on 207, you'll meet the Mainer bringing Johnny Cash to life in a musical at Portland Stage Company. And one of his tricks for getting Cash's distinctive voice just right, he doesn't warm up, he just goes out and sings. Coming up here on 207, Portland Stage Company brings the life and music of Johnny Cash to Maine. We'll check out the production of Ring of Fire right after this. In American music, there is no one quite like Johnny Cash. He is a towering figure and the subject of, a, of the musical Ring of Fire, now being presented by Portland Stage Company. Scott Moreau, who grew up in Litchfield, Maine and has performed around the country, plays Cash in this show. I talked to him and Eric Anthony, who's the music director for the production, about the story of Johnny Cash. He was just so influential, not only in music, but just sort of in his in his message and in in the way he lived his life and the redemption he found at the end of his life. And um, I think people too often get little snapshots of his life, but don't maybe get to see a little more in depth look into his life. And I think that's what this show does and what we do with it. It must be pretty special for you as you get back to performing after a year and a half of going through the pandemic. To be back in Maine, you grew up in Litchfield. I assume there are going to be a lot of people whom you know who are going to be in the audience watching you for this, and that makes it really, as I said, pretty special. Absolutely. Uh, there are going to be, I'm sure, my, my dentist will be there. Uh, my parents will definitely be there on opening night with my brother. Uh, my wife will be uh, flying in from New York to be able to see the show. And, yeah, just lots of people from, from my high school days, uh, just fans I've kind of accumulated over the years from being able to come back and perform. So, it, yeah, it's really something special to be here to do it. Scott, how do you try to capture Johnny Cash's voice? It's so distinctive. You've got to get it right. And I know that it's not entirely a natural fit for your voice. So how do you make that work? It's already over all the week. Uh, one thing I, I really do is I don't warm up, which is sort of the worst thing most singers could do. But uh, the more warm I am, the honestly, the harder it, harder it is to hit deeper notes. So I really try not to talk much at all if I'm, I'm not on stage. A lot of it is just listening, uh, watching a lot of videos and, and listening to his voice, both speaking and singing, to just kind of use trial and error by repeating phrases or repre repeating songs, song lyrics, and just kind of, uh, did that sound right? Yeah, I think, yeah, cut and print. That, uh, that's what I'll do, yeah. Hello, I'm Johnny Cash. He was an American original. Bob Dylan said of him in plain terms, Johnny Cash was and is the North Star. You could guide your ship by him. The greatest of the greats, then and now. Love is a burning thing all oh, how pretty and it makes a fiery ring eric let me ask you a question scott has done johnny cash in performance hundreds and hundreds of times he has himself directed ring of fire does that make you a little reluctant to make suggestions to him to maybe offer a little criticism to him when he's uh working on this performance not at all i'm happy <laughs> I'm happy to give him an elbow every now and then. <laughs> and I am happy for that elbow. Uh, this, this man is a fantastic musician and an even better friend. Hey, Porter, hey, Porter, it's getting light outside. I relish the notes, the notes and the music direction he gives me. We have a good relationship, that's for sure. So what have you said to him, Eric? What, what have you, what kind of uh, little tweaking have you recommended? Well, a few moments ago, I asked him to try a different thing on his finger picking style and one of the songs that he sings. Um, sometimes I will ask things as simple as do this l louder. To what degree in a show like this do you want the music to be just slightly different from what people know from the records? For the, for the fans who come to this show who really know Johnny Cash's music, I'm guessing you don't want to give them a note for note perfect performance. It has to go in a slightly different direction and take them on a slightly different journey. How do you achieve that? And even for artists, even when Johnny Cash was touring, he wouldn't do the songs the way they are on the record necessarily. So we are doing our best to service his sound, but with our own personalities. And that will come in the form of, you know, maybe a progression change or, or perhaps um, taking a song a little faster or slower or adding a solo break for the guitar player, a mandolin player here and there. 
And that is the key to bringing it from sitting in your living room to sitting in a theater. Scott, it's been such a long break for performers like yourself who make a living getting on a stage and playing for a crowd. What is it going to be like to be back in front of an audience, a live audience that will be able to respond and cheer and applaud when you're doing what you do? Uh, exhilarating and a little bit nerve wracking. Uh... I'm sure, I mean, I'm always nervous every time I perform. I once had a professor say, the day that you're not nervous before you do a show is the day you should probably give it up. And uh, so I'm always a little nervous, but I think I'm gonna be just a little bit more nervous, but the payoff at the end, seeing people applaud and enjoying it, I think that's gonna really be kind of the, the icing on the cake. You can see Portland Stage Company's production of Ring of Fire live at the theater through August 29th or by digital on demand through September 12th. You'll find more information at newcentermain.com slash 207.